Hi guys, welcome back to Fourth Generation Renovation. And in case you've forgotten, my name's Mike. So I've been gone a long time, I know. I'll tell you what I've been doing and why I haven't put up any videos. But I've got an awesome job that I'm gonna be doing today. So stick around, because this one is really gonna be exciting. All right, so we're in the dining room. We've actually started using this as a dining room. So that's really cool. It feels great. We had the family around and we had a nice meal in this dining room and uh, it was really good. But we can't use it at night because I still haven't done the light. So just to remind you, we've got all the plaster work done up there. I've managed to get the final coat on the pocket doors. These pocket doors here, as you can see, haven't been finished. We've got wires hanging out the wall. Lots of stuff I'm gonna be addressing today. So what I've done is I've gone out this morning Picked up the chandelier for here. There is going to be another one of these that will be going in the parlor, but I just got this one for today. And I got these off of Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks for two of them, and they're going to be going in the hallway. They're a little chandelier, so it's not ideal for a hallway, but they're only small and it's going to give us some light, which we really need down there. Uh, but this chandelier here, uh, if I can get it out, I'll show you what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. And I believe it fits in well with the theme we're going for here. So, let's see. So have a look at that. So that is, I think that looks beautiful. And uh, it's not just that. On each one of these lights has these little shades. And uh, they've been really well done in some nice satin material. All right, so before I get into start work on these lights, show and tell time. So I've got something right here in the dining room. I'll show you that. And then there's another big thing as well. So check this out. So it doesn't look like much at the moment, but if you can see, it's the lead light panel for the entry. I've got two of those to make. So I've started doing patterns, cutting glass. I've been working out what color glass I need for it. Um, so that is starting to move along although very slowly, it is starting to move along. So the other thing, we walk down here, and I did this panel here. So yeah, we got the airlock door done for the entry. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've managed to get some extra glass from work with the real good texture on it. So we'll go inside. We'll have a look from the other way. So yeah, it's, uh, so those panels I'm working on go there and there. Uh, they're gonna be in color. This one here, I just wanted to do clear, but with different textures. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So I guess I should tell you where I've been, what I've been doing. So I started a new job. So the old job was, it was wearing me down. I just, I, it was hard to get up and go to work every morning. Um, the boss was just, uh, it was getting hard. He was obviously a bit low on work and he was getting stressed and I wasn't making the money I wanted and and uh, yeah, just the, the relationship got a bit fractured. And so I was like, well, it's time to go. So what I'm doing now is I'm installing doors. So I've had to set up a company and I'm working for a door company here and I'm installing doors. And um, it's a good job. Uh, it's very physical, and it's, I've actually lost probably about 10 kilos from doing the job. It's, yeah, lifting doors all day, every day. You're on the go, you're in the van, I'm in and out of the van, you know, going to different locations every day. Uh, I've, I've been having to work Saturdays, Sundays, late nights to get the work done. Uh, but it's been really good money. I mean, the money is is really good. <laughs> um, 
but it, I've got to I've got to slow it down a bit. I mean, I've I've, um, I've been sitting down redrawing the house. That's another thing I've got to talk to you about. Um, but anyway, I've been busy at work, and it's also it's been hot. It's been such a hot February, March. What was that? What was that, Lily? So I've got my headlight on. I've got my stand with my LED light. We'll go up the ladder and I'm not gonna take the camera up there because it's just crawling around, cutting, twisting wires and all that. So you guys will just see when I come back down here and hook up that chandelier and pull it up.
Well, that was nearly a disaster. I don't know if you saw when I was lifting it up, it caught the table and it bent a couple of the arms. Luckily, I could bend it back. Seems to be a little bit out of balance now, but a couple of the crystals fell off, so I should be able to fix it. Um, it's up there, which is good, secured nice and strongly and up in the roof. So we'll go and put the hallway ones up now and then I'll go up there and do all the wiring. Time for some voiceover guys. So yeah, I uh, had a good day putting these lights up, but I really needed someone to help me. So I needed someone on a ladder underneath here to push it up through the hole because the connectors on the wiring there, they just, uh, they were a little bit bulky and just needed to be pushed up. I didn't want to pull those wires too much and rip them out of the socket so yeah it's uh it's going to stop where it stops and uh, i'll address that later on when i can get someone to help me so uh, i used the cabling for the securing wire as well as the actual wiring uh, i just found that the easiest thing to do by myself i had no one underneath to hold it up so i needed a long bit of uh, cable to be able to pull it up so yeah that's what I did and uh, I've got it all done and tell you what it's so good having lights in there it was been dark for so long that uh, any lighting is good well as you can see I'm having some success so I've got to just run the uh, light switch for the dining room and get some globes I'm going to run down to Bunnings tonight and get some globes and that should be a goer as well so I think I've sussed it all out. So yeah, I'll get that um, light switch run and we should be cooked with gas. So that's some pretty exciting stuff that's happening inside. But I've been doing a bit of work outside as well. So have a look behind me here. I've been starting to cut the trees down to get ready for the extension. So I've um, pretty much cut down this one in the corner. So all we've got left is that stump. So I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to wet the ground, dig around it so I've got something to push on and then cut that one up afterwards. And uh, at the moment, I'm working on the second apple tree. I've also cut a little bit of the orange tree. But that was just because I was getting carried away. But yeah, I've started thinning this out. So I'm just going around. I've worked out a better way to do it. So trim all the little branches off and then come along with the chainsaw and cut all the big bits later rather than end up with a big pile of mess like that so yeah i'll put the camera down do a bit of work on this and uh yeah should start to see it opening up and uh yeah then we'll after we've done this one we'll move on to the orange tree mandarin tree and uh the peach tree and then the two apple trees that my grandma planted they're all going because i just don't have room to have apple have fruit trees laying around so yeah, to have, to have room for my shed and um, entertaining area and of course the extension of the house, they've got to go. So yeah, that's uh, well, the, another little project I'm working on at the moment.
All right, guys, so I got all the small stuff trimmed out of this side of it yesterday. I'm going to get my chainsaw, I'll show you my new toy, and cut all these big bits out, and then I'll go back, finish filling up the bin with the little bits, and uh, see how far we can get with getting this tree down. So I just went to the nursery, got excited about the next tree I'm going to plant, so I'm going to put two trees in here, and... Uh, I got excited about the trees, but I haven't been able to decide on what sort. The one I thought I was going to get, Claret Ash, are over in the corner. I don't know if I want. So we'll go back to that later on. But for the meantime, I've got to get all these trees out. So we'll get moving with that. So this is the new toy. A very long chainsaw, but it does a great job. So all you do, undo that, slide that pole out, and you put the whip snipper attachment in. And that works really good too. So yeah, really pumped about this tool. How awesome was that from a battery chainsaw? Cut that whole tree down in like probably half an hour. So I'll go around clean up, pick all the stumps up and all the logs, I'll throw them over for ready for the bonfire, give them a few months and hopefully they'll dry enough to burn and start cutting all this up and fill up that bin. So I just thought I'd include a little bit of footage on me doing the lawns with my new toys. So this uh, Mil Milwaukee setup with the walker sliver and it has the chainsaw attachment. I'm loving it. Uh, it's about the equivalent weight to a petrol whip sliver, so it's not too heavy. It's not light, so that you you know you don't get that good control. And uh, the mower that runs off two 18 volt batteries. It's got headlights and it's self propelled. It's really easy to use, it's quiet and it does a great job. Alright guys, I've decided I'm going to do one more job for this video, seeing as we're doing a bit of a catch up. Well this isn't a catch up job, this is a new job. So what I'm going to do, seeing as we've got the dining room looking nice, I thought I'll replace that crappy door. The other thing I don't like about this door is it opens up that way. Ridiculous. So I've got another door. Now come out and check this door out. So 
So this door, I actually took off of a door at work. Uh, they didn't want this. They wanted a nice new shiny door. So I took it off. And when I just measured it, it was almost the exact size to go in there. So it's like, I'm gonna put it on. So I'm gonna turn, put the hinges on the other side. I'm gonna hang the door. I got a lock set that I picked up from Bunnings. Nice brass one to match the front. And a bit of bling, of course, that we're putting through the house. And uh, yeah, we'll get this door put on and uh, add something else to the house, which was unexpected, so that's cool. So I'll put you on the stand and we'll start some work. So fitting this door, uh, I thought I'd just show you the whole process and uh, give you a bit of an idea on what I do for work. Uh, it's basically what I do. I come in, take people's old doors off and throw on a nice new one. Although here I'm throwing on a nice old one. But anyway, uh, it's the same process. So getting rid of that door that was hung in a ridiculous direction, if you ask me. And uh, cleaning up all the, um, the door jam there, getting rid of the extra timber I don't need. There's not going to be putting a screen door on here, so I can get rid of that extra stop. And I'm going to do a jam adjustment on this frame. So the jam adjustment is when you you measure your door and your rebate there don't line up so your door's going to stick out. So what I'm doing <coughs> is I'm going to put a piece of timber on here and use my router with the flush cutter and route this down so that it's got the right distance for the uh, door to sit in there and also while you're doing this you can also plumb the sides so this door frame happened to have a twist you can see here <coughs> so as we're going up it's uh, getting further in and then I'll put a pencil mark at the top there to line up the top so I route this in two stages so I take the bulk of it out with the first run using that bit of timber there as a straight edge so it just leaves a couple of small holes from the nails and then you chisel the last little bits in the corner so always make sure you have a sharp chisel it's one thing I've learnt and uh, yeah so I just take that out and then I can just run the router along and take the last little bit out leaves it nice and neat you can run a sanding block along there and take off the sharp edge so here I'm just taking out that bit of corner I was talking about so nice wide chisel nice and sharp as I said depending on the timber yeah, this could go well or it could go very badly um, I wasn't too worried because if I need to put a bit of putty in here I can but they can like I said depending on the timber you can have a terrible time doing this so I'm going to nail the strips on the side now, run those sides. A couple of nails that I left in there. There's always a nail left in there, no matter how carefully you check. And always run the router backwards to start with and then push it forwards. If you push it forward it can grab hold and rip a big chunk out. So that's why I'm going down, taking the most of it out and then come back up to get the fine little finishing bit out. Trim the corner again. Plumb that jam, seeing as that's going to be, be the hinge side. Back 
backwards and then forwards. Now I'm going to take that last little bit out, just adjusting the router to just skim along there and not take too much out. Just enough is all you need. Measuring the position for the new hinges. And I've got my little jig here. So I just set my router to the right depth, hold that in position and run it around. Now just a little bit of fitting to the new old door or the old new door, whichever way you want to look at it. When routing the ends, you've got to take a big chunk out the end down to your line. Then you can just skim through three or four times, whatever you need to do, down to that line. Don't want to run that uh, planer through, or you're going to just tear out a big chunk, especially with this old timber. Give it an arras. Or take the arras off is actually the correct saying, but we just say arras it. Look at the colours in that lead light. Now these uh, old hinge checkouts are way too deep, so I'm just going to glue a piece of timber in there and then I'll flip it over do the handle by that time it'll be dry and I can reroute the hinges just cleaning it up so that it's nice and flat
drill the lock out while I'm waiting for that glue to dry. I got these uh, jigs here. They're Milwaukee ones. Um, that doesn't matter, but they're jigs and they're kind of a bit of a handyman thing, but I like them because you just draw a line where you want them, you clamp them on there and you can't go wrong. You don't need to measure anything, you don't misread your tape and go 5mm or 10mm out. You just got to put your drill bit through the hole and away you go. Although I must admit, the hole saw that you get with these kits doesn't seem to really uh, have much bite. And the doors, that most of the doors that we fit are hardwood, so it is quite hard going. So I might change that as I go along. I might uh, drill a hole through for a center, and then I might take them off and use a spade bit and a uh, better hole saw. But for the time being, it takes the guesswork out. So just while I'm finishing up guys, I'd just like to uh, thank the subscribers that have sent me messages saying where are you, we miss your videos and all that kind of stuff. It's really given me some motivation to make time to get in and film some more. I will be trying my best, uh, but I don't, don't, don't think I'll have time for weekly videos, but I'll do, I will do my best because... Uh, I, if, if I'm filming videos it means I'm getting work done on the house so um, the house drawings are coming along quite nicely I've got a few different concepts I did find out that I have restrictions in this area and I can only go to nine meters high and two stories so I have had to redraw the whole drawing the whole concept has changed and I'm working to uh, yeah, get a drawing that I'm happy with. I've, d I've done it over and over, just fine-tuning things. So I, I want to get that into council. Uh, I'd like to do it before the middle of the year, and then uh, hopefully by the end of the year we can start some major construction work. So that's the plan. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see how I go with that. But the drawing does seem to just chew up the hours. And when I get home from work and I'm pretty tired from lifting doors all day, sitting at the computer doing some drawing is uh, a good way to still be working on the house but not having to do any physical work. So yeah, I, I really do appreciate those guys that uh, you know have sent me the messages. It's uh, I can't thank you enough for giving the giving me the support and uh, and motivation to keep carrying on I never had any plans to give it up it's just with this new job it's so physical I'm pretty knackered every night so uh, there's a few jobs I'm starting on I'm clearing the backyard as you've seen with the trees so I uh, got several trees to get get rid of um, I'm gonna be moving the lounge room into uh, which what was Victoria's bedroom and I'm going to be also putting my um, office in there that I need a bit more of a decent office now and that will allow me to start work on the parlor and get all the corners and the, the rows and, and of course the beautiful chandelier up in there so there's work happening there's always something happening uh, as soon as I get close and I, I put things into council, I'll probably be starting to rip the sheds down. So that's going to be what you'll see. So you'll see some um, deconstruction before you see the construction. Uh, but I think it'll be ramping up for a good year next year to really start seeing this house coming alive with uh, with all the extensions and you know all that stuff happening. So I'll give you a, I'll give you a little teaser. Um, I'm actually going up two stories on the existing house as well as at the back now, because I've lost the ability to have an attic. And so the, yeah, the, the the roof there with the dormer windows and the the bedroom and uh, artist nook I'd planned up there can't do. So I'm going to now be going up on the existing building 
and also out and up on the back. So a little bit of a teaser there for you of what's to come. So once I get these drawings done, I will share them with you. Uh, I've got a few different designs and I'll be sort of, uh, I, I think I'm just going to have to, uh, Julie and I will just have to sit down and really talk about and decide which way we want to go. So yeah, that will be really exciting once I've uh, finalised those drawings. Still having all the, all inside is still going to be all the same. Uh, the only other thing is we're having a grand staircase in the middle bedroom. Uh, the existing bedroom now so you come through this door that I'm doing now and you'll go through the dining room and straight up into the stairwell uh, which will go up in the center and then you'll turn around and on the left and the right go up into the onto the sec uh, first floor so that will look pretty nice obviously that will all be fancy with the uh, I'm going to go with the like a barley twist uh, balustrade and um, yeah it will all be beautiful timber panelling and yeah the works and jerks there so that will be really exciting once I start doing that so look at that that door actually is beautiful in that spot I was a bit worried about the colours but it actually works perfectly so Thanks to everyone that has, uh, you know, sort of kept an eye out for my videos. This will be the start of uh, another lot of videos coming out to you. And I will make you videos whenever possible. I've got a few other videos already in the works. Uh, I've got one of me of a day at work showing you what I do. And I've also got some work on uh, digging out the stump and doing some work outside. So uh, keep your eye out for those videos and yeah until we start getting into the major construction i hope you enjoy seeing these little bits and pieces they're not exciting things but they're things that need to get done to be able to do the major construction so when we get there eventually uh, it will all be worthwhile going through the boring videos to get to the good stuff so i know i'm not really promoting my videos very well saying they're going to be boring they're not going to be boring but they will be not fantastic jobs that uh, you probably have seen me do over the last couple of years so yep we'll leave it at that uh, thanks very much once again for everyone's support and uh, please uh, send me a comment uh, drop me a comment and you know just uh, let me know how you feel about the way this video has been done and if you're looking forward to the ones coming up so until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.